how to create a landing page on system.io step by step hey guys welcome back in this video i'll be showing you guys how you can build your sales funnels and build your own landing page with system.io so let's get into it now the first thing you're gonna do is head on over to system.io once you do that you're gonna click on get my free account on the top right and you can get your free account i'm gonna sign into my account because i previously have created one now once you do that you are going to see that there's no direct option to create a website or a landing page however don't fret this is very much their standard layout to be able to actually build your landing pages you just build a funnel and you don't necessarily have to make it a functional funnel you can just build a simple funnel to be able to build your landing page so just click on funnels on the top panel over here once you do that click on create and you can name your funnel anything it really doesn't matter and once you do that you can choose your funnel goal so i want to sell a product or a service and then you have your currency now once you save the funnel you can click on that particular sales funnel or any type of funnel and you will have two different options you have a order form you have view funnel options and then you can see you can actually preview all of these templates as well now i can click on add step over here and i can actually create my sales page from here or landing page so to do that what i'm going to do is that we are going to remove all of these steps over here like this because we don't need them now I'm going to click on add step over here and we're going to click on over here to add or create our step. Now I don't want to set up the inactive page. I'm going to remove the thank you page from here and I am just going to click on add step over here and I'm going to name this landing page and then you're going to choose the type and for our type we can choose any type of page we can build an info page contact us page we can build an inline page squeeze page pop-up form sales page so let's say i want to build something like a sales page i'm going to click on save and your landing page can serve any purpose so i'm going to remove any pre-existing funnel steps that we have and you can obviously create a empty funnel that's totally up to you but once you click on over here with our landing page you can view different templates depending on the type of landing page you chose i chose a sales oriented page so these are sales oriented templates if i was to create a different landing page too and i choose maybe something like a um webinar registration page or a info page uh, they will give me other templates for my landing page so your landing page can be about anything usually it is regarding sales so i'm gonna go with the sales page options and once you open up your sales page options you can actually see you have your black friday pickle perfection you have a bunch of different templates so what i am going to do is that i am going to choose this one over here and i'm going to click on or this one and i'm going to click on select over here you can choose to preview it and then you have the name of your landing page and then the url slug so i'm just gonna choose this as sales landing page like this and then i'm going to click on edit page on the right panel over here now once you do that this will actually open up your system.io landing page editor so from here you can step by step edit any element so to get started on the top left we have this logo section so as you guys can see they have a default image added we are going to remove this image and i am going to paste in our own image so what we're going to do is click on the section and then you can choose a background color as well you can choose the size of your image and then you can link your image as well now i want to upload my files so i'm going to click on the cloud icon and we already have one image uploaded so i'm just going to use this as our logo and i'm going to change this size to a little to, you know like a little icon size and then on the top right you have options such as book now sign in and home let's say i don't want a book now page so i'm going to delete that item and as you guys can see this is like the toolbar that we currently have present now on the bottom i don't require this you know empty section so i might want to delete this so i can go to the bottom and i don't want this to be visible on the desktop version now after that i can click on the settings over here on the right side 
and we can move this towards the center a little so we can take these menu items and as you guys can see with our menu items we have home pages and then we can enter the link uh, if we don't want the menu items to be present we can choose to remove these like this because if you have a section uh, that is not necessary you can just click on delete and delete that item we can click on delete on this item as well if we don't want this so we can even click on delete for the header and we can directly lead to our landing page which might be the best bag bag in town and then we can click on this image and then we can scroll down and upload our own image that we might have so i'll take an image that we have over here like this and i'll just open this up over here and once the image has been uploaded i'm going to click on insert and once the image has been added i can choose to remove any of the padding that has been added now I'm going to add some padding to the top as well because I want to align this like so. And then to edit some more, let's say I don't want a background image or if you don't want to add some background color, you can insert that as well. And you can choose the opacity of that image as well. Now you guys can see you have the settings for the overall size of the image on the left panel as well. If I go into our section, we can choose how we want it to appear. So let's say if I don't want any padding, if I reduce, you know, like the larger sections over here, and then I can choose how I want the image to appear in the center, and then full 100% width, width and height, and then if I want to scale it without cropping like this, or if I want this to be default. Now I'm going to go with 100% width and height and then below that you have your rounded corners and some other editing options. Now below that we have this text section and after that we can add our own sections as well. So let's say I want, I don't require all of these sections in our system.io landing page so I'm just going to delete these entire sections like this. And then you can just click on OK click on the delete icon and then I can enter my own text over here. I can also enter my own column column section so I can have, you know, diverse sections with images on one side and text on the other, however you prefer landing pages. You can also link your physical products, check boxes, buttons, as well as countdown and other menu options into your landing page. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this button and let's say I want to link the button to some checkout page on Shopify or my product page on Shopify. So I'm going to click on the button over here and I want to maybe open a new URL and then I'm going to take my product URL from Shopify. So I'll take the URL from here and copy it and go ahead and just paste it into system.io on the left panel over here and I want to open it in the same window and then after that I want to maybe change the button uh, the text over here in this particular button so we're going to click on this over here and scroll down and then we have the button text and I'm going to add buy now like this and then we can click on save changes on the top right and once you do that you can go into the next step on the top right over here and you have your configuration so we've built our landing page and then once your sales funnel step has been completed you can choose to delete all other pages as well so this is our landing page and that is it and once we built our funnel we can just click on view funnel step and you can copy this and use this as your primary sales page so i hope you guys found this video helpful if you did make sure to leave a like and subscribe